name is Jeffrey Neek, and I live and work and run a business here in Westchester. And my question concerns the Triborough Amendment. Uh, since the Triborough Amendment of the Taylor Law keeps the entire contract in place with all the benefits for public employees while that contract has expired, would, would you be in favor of limiting the Triborough Amendment to just base wages, but not the extra benefits like step and merit increases? Thank you. I don't want to hog the mic, but it was my cause celeb last year, and it still is. And that's one of the things that they told me I was insane to put in a bill to get rid of. I would be in favor of getting rid of the Triborough Amendment, period. Okay? Uh, my father was a labor leader, by the way, and I spent many years in the union as a member of the New York State Police. I recognize that there was a time when something like the Triborough Amendment, which modified the Taylor Law, was something necessary to protect the rank and file. But now, thanks to some of the collective bargaining potential that exists there, to things like the idea of uh, a number of different things that, that we have seen in the labor movement, there are those protections in place which will, uh, including binding arbitration, by the way, which make the Triborough Amendment somewhat passe. The teachers do not have this, by the way, which is why they are adamantly against it. Uh, the fact of the matter is we need to remove the Triborough Amendment. If we can't remove the Triborough Amendment, the Governor's Commission, quite independently of Bob Castelli's thinking, uh, came out with a thing that said if they can't remove it, they should suspend it. I think for the, the safety of the state and, and to engage in legitimate pension reform, if we cannot remove it, and I do not believe, by the way, we can, can remove it. And I'm, I put the bill in again, by the way. But I do think that there is the potential for suspending it for 24 to 36 months, which allows us to get on our feet. And I think that that is a reasonable compromise position for all of the unions, most especially the teachers' union, to engage in. If we can do that, we can have some legitimate labor reform here. 